What is good friends, we're here with World Cup. Melik is playing for Team Spain, Zamrock playing for US East. And he brings that heat, packing the Zam... <laughs> packing the Mega Camera up. I don't know why I said Zam. So the US East is up 2-0 at the moment. So Melik is... Um, kinda has to win this for his team. I don't know why he made the room hidden and everything. But yeah, this is gonna be... Uh, Scarf Lari probably with Healing Wish. It's either Sky Strike Gyarados or uh, Z Move Bulu. I mean, he has a lot of potential Z Move users, but. I think his turn is like sub toxic, maybe. His. Mm, I can see his Lando being defensive on this team, yeah. Zamok has a f uh, fire, water, grass core, and a steel fairy, steel fairy dragon core. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, they they both have that core. They both have that core. Yeah, Malika's best switch into Camerot is like Lari. The like, Camerot gets scared all by most things. It might live Earthquake from full from a defensive Lando, but I'm pretty sure it can't live uh, a move from Gren, yeah. So these are with Gren. Gets the lead correct, where's the Lando? Just trying to open my calculator real quick in case I need that later. So he has double water. This I mean, it could be Mega Gyarados, and then because Mazar used a team like this where he had Greninja plus Mega Gyarados, because this was Greninja was to lure in Gyarados checks. They actually have three of the same mons and Ladios and La instead of Ladios, so they almost have four of the same mons. Grand Land on Bulu is the same, right? Yep. They're kind of similar teams. So like I don't really know who to give advantage from matchup. <laughs> but yeah, I can see this being Ash Gunja. I I'm actually not sure which Gwen it is. All I know is Zamrook is not staying in here. Zamrook is going into his Assault Vest Magina if he's a Assault Vest. Oh that was that that's assault vest. The crit at 28, that's so assault vest, that did nothing. So this is Ashgren, but it's not Spax because that did zero damage. Oh, this is probably like Z is it Zim of Ashgren? That's so weird. Maybe it's Splash Plate with Taunt. He expected Zemrock to bring sticky webs. Or maybe it's not Splash Plate, but it could definitely be like some taunt set. Cause that deck it's not Spax. That zero damage. I mean, this Majina could be the Calm Nature Assault Vest set. So if you have Zamrock here, if you predict anything that's not Lando, you Volt Switch, and if you predict the Lando, you Ice Beam. But you don't want to Ice Beam and give Malakis a free switch into the Heatran. So I would probably um, make a double switch that covers the Heatran and the Landers just to an avoid the 50 50 bit Volt Switch and Ice Beam. Um, I think doubling into Greninja is a good play here. Greninja covers the Landris and the Heatran. So I'll probably double into Gren here from Zemrock. I don't think he loses much by doing that, yeah. But, but yeah, I kind of think he's um, Mega Gyarados. And... But healing wish Lali that just makes sense to me, I don't know. I just have a feeling he's Mega Gara. We will see if he's Hydro Vortex Gren. I can also see this just being like Sash or... S I don't know if Splash Plate crit would do 28. Maybe it's not a... It's probably not a boosting item because the crit did only 28. It bonds off the Majuna. He has so many potential Z-Move users. It's really tough for me to tell. I'm kind of thinking he's Z-Move Bulu at the moment. If it's, if it's Mega Gyarados, that is. The land is either defensive or off play, I'm thinking. At this at the moment, yeah. Like if you have Zamrock Okay, Malakis is taking his time here, okay. 
that Malikus doesn't have another play other than going into Tren or Landris. I don't think he has another play. So I would always double into Greninja here, like I said. Does he have another play? Like, you're not, you're not gonna go into uh, Gyarados ever on a potential Volt Switch. Um, I mean, yeah, if you predict him to double, I guess he can get up a hazard, but that's unnecessarily risky. He could also Flurcan instead of Ice Beam, and... Like, if you predict Ice Beam and he Flurcans, he blows away your Greninja. So it's definitely not the play to stay in here. I would probably go into um, Heat Turn if I'm Malakis. He does double into Greninja. I 100% agree with Damrock's play there. But Malakis has a nice read and he just goes for Hyrule Pump. He says, nope. Not with me. Not. You don't double on me. So he either predicted him to double or he predicted him to Ice Beam. Or he was willing to let this Greninja take a Volt Switch. That could also be. Maybe he was just willing to take the Volt Switch, yeah. Because if he goes Heat Turn on a Volt Switch, he loses too much momentum, I guess. So he didn't want to have Zamrock just get the free vault. And in case Zamrock doubles this works out for Malakis, he gets some damage off. And yeah, if I guess it's just speed ties, but Malakis should beat the opposing Gren one on one unless it's Protein low kick. Like on Zamrock's team, I'm really thinking that Z move Bulu, but we shall see. Lali should be Scar, yeah. Probably, I probably said that already. Yeah, exactly. He made the mid ground of Britain turn Orlando. That's the play I would have made. Three turns in already, and the video is seven minutes long. Goes in the top of Bulo, okay. And there's a dodge. I mean, he crit the Magirna, but it, I don't know if that will come into play later on. But yeah, if you Zamrock here... You use a super power break in the trend, or you Heart Bloom don't blow the Landris away. You can also just D, but... If he predicts the Landris. If I'm Malekith here, what would I do? This can definitely has Ice Beam, because the damage is... Is he Scuff? Is he Scuff Greninja? Scuff Ash? No, he should be Scuff Lali. He goes on the Landris. Zamrock makes another makes the mid-ground play of doubling to Greninja again, as it covers the, the Heat Turn and it covers the Landris. So that was a really nice play. He gets the Grassy Turn recovery back. And now he can fire off his own Hyrule Pump here on his Ice Beam. And that's the Ice Beam, and it's... Ah, he gets a crit, holy cow, what is going on in this game? So he's Ash, Grand, they're both Ash. They really have the they really have same the same team, it's just two months different, and then Ladios instead of Ladios is three months different, but like... Ladios and Ladios is kind of the same. Ladios does more damage, but Ladios is more bulky, and uh, Ladios has the Healing Wish, which is like, really nice utility. Malikis has a secondary Zard white check and a heat turn, which I like a lot. Cause that was like a that one looks really scary to Zamrock's team. I mean camera up kinda checks it, I guess, if it has ancient power. Oh my lord, what is going on with Malikis? Oh Malikis probably knew that the Greninja was choice locked into Ice Beam, he probably calculated the damage. I don't know if that was specs damage. A crit only did 48, I wanna calc that. Greninja was Greninja. Uh, Ash. Let's say Ash, so we have the specs, and then we lower the special attack to 103. We say Ice Beam does 32, and with a crit. How much did it do? He does sub down, okay, okay. So Magina um, probably doesn't break the sub. He's gonna toxic a Magma Storm. He misses a Magma Storm, which sucks. How much did the Ice Beam do? It did 48, so yeah, Malekis knew it was specs, so his play made a lot of sense. Into Heatran. And Zamrock went into his Majuna just in case um, Malekis would have attacked with his Gren. A really nice play there. Breaking these um breaking the substitute with Earthquake and then getting up the rocks. So if you're Zamrock here, you can go into the own Greninja, breaking the rocks slash HPIs. 
Uh, you can also go Tapu Bulu if you if you if you feel pretty confident that this doesn't have Sky Strike or anything to hurt the Bulu. Like if you think this is like defensive or SD Smackdown offplay, then it also cannot do that much to the Bulu, especially with Grass Terrain being up. But he just goes for HPIs, which is fine too. Yeah, yeah, it was pretty obvious that Malikus just wants his rocks up. I can get that, yeah. But now, now if he's Emrock, do you make the play of Bulu slash Gren? I think you make the play of Bulu slash Gren. Keeping Landros healthy can be nice to take a Magma Storm from Trent later on. But he just decides, oh. He's faster, well. Was he faster every single time? I thought it was a speed jet for some reason. Yeah, yeah, it, it was shown that he is faster. So that was definitely the fine play then. Okay, my bad guys, I'm messing up, I'm sorry, fuck. What am I doing sometimes? Like, he's obviously faster, now I'm getting mad. This is something I have to pay attention to, like, which one is faster. But yeah. Malekith can potentially double here in the Majorna. Because Majorna takes two pumps easily, we see a crit only did 28 earlier. Um, so you can potentially double into his heat run here. So I can see Zamrock running like a lot of speed on his land roots because he was like it was not a speed that we saw that. I should have paid to it, attention to it more like earlier. And he misses a pump. Well, that wouldn't have done much. That would have done like maybe eighteen percent. I think Zemrog is gonna Volt Switch this time. Because Malik has lost his Landris, he can Volt Switch around freely. Pump is not gonna do that much. Uh, Volt Switch might actually kill from 46%. Uh, Magirna, Salt Vest. Volt Switch does uh, 78 if it's max special attack. And he misses another Hydro Pump. And then the game should be over. I mean, if he hit both Hydro Pumps, the Magirna would have been pretty low. Maybe it would have been at this amount of health. Wait, a crit only did this much. A crit did 28. Yeah, I think it would have been around here, maybe. I'm not sure. I don't think it will make, makes a difference in the long run. Zemro can't be touched in an important game. Yeah, last time Zemro played when it didn't matter and he lost. I'm um, too hacked. So yeah, he would have won if he didn't get hexed. I think it was like a Draco crit or something with Alcons. So Malikus has to win with Gyarados, but if his Gyarados doesn't have Ice Fang or Bounce, he gets walled by Tapu Bulu. Like I'm kind of thinking, I'm still thinking it's Mega Gyarados. I know some people think Mega Gyarados is really bad. Yeah, I, I don't think it's that good either, but like. It's like a mon that people don't really prep for, I feel, so it can definitely be good in some matchups. Like, if you Malik is here, you either, yeah, exactly, you either Gyarados or you go Tapu Bulu. And now you, he's gonna Dragon Dance up. But how much does Scarf Lottie do? Um, we have to call Scarf Lottie versus... Let's say Scarf versus Gyarados. If he's um, Fly Z Gyarados and not Mega Evolve, uh, not Mega, it does 64 to 76. So he would protect probably just U turn to get the necessary damage. We do see it's Moxie, it's not Intimidate, is it? Never mind, it's Intimidate. Yeah, never mind, it's Intimidate, I just messed up. So he's Dragon Dancing up, he's Mega, like I thought. I've been messing up a few times in this recording. And yeah, if he doesn't have Ice Thing here, does Ice Thing even have a chance to kill? Like, Zamrock is not switching out, that is something I can tell you. He has to go for Water from Flinches if he doesn't have Ice Thing. What does Ice Thing do? He's probably Kalking. Oh, wait, um, this is not Mega Gyarados, this is regular Gyarados. Mega Gyarados. I 
And Ice Fang at plus one does probably not kill. I think it does like 80 maybe. Yeah, Ice Fang does plus plus one does 76 to 90. So this always lives, even if he has Ice Fang. Does this get Iron Head or something? I think it gets Iron Head. Iron Head has a chance to kill. A really good chance. But I don't think he has Iron Head. He would have clicked it by now. He's probably gonna go for the flinch. Wait, what? Okay. So he just he took Stealth Rocks with his He took Stealth Rock with his Gyarados and he set up and then he just switched out. I mean I and I get why you switch out, because he obviously didn't have a move to kill this. But like I don't see him setting up again with the Gyarados, so I think he kinda had to go for the flinch, maybe? To have a chance to win the game. Yeah, no iron jail. <laughs> I think even Ironhead would have been a Ironhead would have been a high, highly in his favor to kill from there too. If you Zamrock here, you probably just go into the Landrus, because I don't think he needs the Landrus for that much, and Landrus can probably live a Magma Storm, and just outspeed the Tren. And if the Tren subs down, you can just break the sub so it doesn't get up a sub, which is what you want if you Zamrock. We don't want him. Give him a free sub. I think he just has to click Magma Storm here and hope that he hits. And even if he like... Okay, he goes in the camera up. So Magma Storm into Earth Power might kill. He gets a crit, okay. That crit might have mattered because after Mega Evolution, I think Camera Up gets some bulk, does it? Data camera up. Data camera up mega. I still think Zamok has this game locked up. Uh, camera up mega, unless he gets hexed. Um, yeah, it gets a lot of speed death, so this might actually. The crit probably mattered. Off power can kill now, I think. That's just my hat cock. I assume off power is gonna do like. Like around the per percentage where the camera up this ad. So he's probably just gonna click off power and. Yep, thanks to that crit, it picks off the kill. I mean, we can run a Kalk real quick, but like... Yeah, it does 55. Wow, that does so much. But that's max special attack trend. I don't think they run that much. Yeah, okay, it was always killing. But without the crit, I think he had a chance to live. Because instead of 45, he would have done... Instead of 45, he would have done 30 to 36. Yeah, I think it might have been it might have been a roll to kill it. But yeah, Zambrook is gonna go into his... Probably go ninja here and click Hydro Pump, but then he can still miss. Um, I don't know if Landris Alfka kills in Grassy Terrain. If it's, not, if it's defensive Landro, I don't think it kills. And he had HP Ice, which makes me think that he's just a defensive one with a lot of speed. Um, Earthquake and Grassy Terrain doesn't kill, yeah. Uh, Grassy Terrain, there it is. Yeah, it does 86, so it's a roll. 86 to 104. So it just gets damage on this. He doesn't want to risk missing Hydro Pump, which I can understand. You don't want to potentially lose to a miss. So he just plays it safe, which is... I think he had to Earthquake there. Malakis got his Ladi in. Zemro can, like, afford to play safe, because he's, like, ahead. He's, like, 1-1 one, one ahead. And he's probably gonna go Majorna here, so Malakis probably has to double into land into Heatran to to have like some like Malakis has to make some sort of plays he's in the back. Like if you're Zamrock, it's either go um Tapu Bulu or go Majorna. And Heatran covers both, so why not go Heatran? I mean, Zamrock can make a wild play and stay in, but I don't think he will. So he doubles on the Heatran as expected. On the Mijerna. And now he's gonna... I mean, the Mijerna can just go for Volt Switch, because he dodged... The two Hydro Pumps that he dodged earlier, they come into play now. Uh, because his Mijerna will still is still healthy. He's subbing, so he's hoping that he can't break the sub. So Zamrock is gonna either go for Water Shuriken here with his Greninja to break the sub, or he's gonna go land on Earthquake. 
I mean, really wanted Zamrock to Earthquake again. Um, I don't think he had... I don't think Earthquake again was necessary. It's unnecessary aggressive, if you ask me. But yeah. I'm pretty sure he's just gonna Water Shuriken because he doesn't want to risk missing a Hydro Pump, right? He can pump, but if he misses, it could put him in a bad position. And like he, have, he has lost to Hex before on this tour, so he definitely doesn't. He definitely wants to avoid this exactly. He just clicks the move that guaranteed hits, and he only gets two hits, which sucks. Now um, he goes for Magma Storm to trap his Greninja in, and he can off power to pick this Greninja off. If Zamrock gets only two hits again, the Citron will still be around. Um, 30 something, like 35. After leftover of recovery, that is. Oh wow, I, I thought he would stay in, but that's actually smart to go in a. Yeah, it's actually smart because you want health on your Heatron. And he was locked in anyway, so it's not like he can double. He got 4 hits, so Heatron would have been super low if it even could live that. 1 hit at 17, so 4 hits. Probably would have killed would have been a roll to kill the train, yeah. So that was that was yeah, that was the better play by Malekith there. And Zamrock has to stay uh, switch out here, I think, because if he stayed in this can drag dance up multiple times and sweep him. So Zamrock is gonna go on the top of Bulu here. We have already seen that Malekith cannot Oko the top of Bulu. Uh, like Zamrock cannot probably not touch the Bulu with the Scarhurders because he um had switched it out earlier when he was a plus one. So I think he has to double into Heatron here again. And if Zamrock stays into Water Shuriken, the game's probably over for Zamrock. In Zamrock's favor. It's not like over as in he wins. Oh, but I, I think... Does he need this Greninja? Like I said, if this, if this Dragon Dance is up twice, Zamrock is in a bad spot. So I completely agree with switching out here. And he just crunched. I don't know. I don't know about that play. I think it was pretty obvious that he had to go on the top of Bulu. So I would have doubled into Heatron. Um, like I'm going off the trend being faster than the Bulu. I I don't know if, if we saw that yet if they have, if the grass if they were out at the same time and we saw grassy terrain go up first for one of the two. But I assume the trend is gonna be faster. So he's just oh he has Ice Fang. So the defense drop the defense drop enabled him to kill off the top of Bulu. I don't think it would have killed without the defense drop. So that sucks. Tapu Bulu versus uh, Gyarados. So he goes on a Majorna and he's gonna click. Probably Floor Cannon if he has it. But that could be bad in the sense that the Heatron can come in here. If he Volt switches, it's not gonna do that much. So he predicts the floor can nice zoom. Thermok volts, which is just too good. I don't think Volt Switch would have put the Gyarados that low because he would have gotten Grazitarin back. And the Dragon Media can still miss. So I think Thermok might have just predicted him to go in the heat turn. Because if you break the Gyarados to stay in, I think Flurkan was the better play. I mean, it's not like the Gyarados, if the Gyarados Dragon danced up, Malekis didn't gain anything because the Scarf Lady is still at speed save with Draco. But yeah, this time I'm pretty sure that... Zamrock is probably gonna click Hydro Pump if Dark Pulse doesn't kill. He's gonna run the Kalk. Um, I think Dark Pulse is probably like, it's gonna do like 40, so he's probably just gonna Hydro... I don't know, man. This is weird, because you don't want to rely on miss, you don't want to lose to a miss, but I think he's gonna Hydro. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like there's just there's just some turns where you have to rely on the inaccurate moves. You cannot play around it perfectly in some scenarios. So the grassy terrain makes it so that the Gyarados can potentially take another hydro pump. Um, potential wind con for Malakus is dragon dancing up on a dodge. And then Dragon Dancing up again because he's gonna get another turn of Grassy Terrain. And if he gets two Dragon Dances up, he can actually. Yeah, if he gets two Dragon Dances up, he can actually win the game. I know Zamrock still has Intimidate from Landris, but. 
Your Dreadnought is up twice, he's still at plus one. This is a tough turn for Zamrock. Because if you switch into Majuna on a Dreadnought, then you get blown away by a Waterfall. So I think... Oh my lord, that... What? What? So I guess Malikus is just hoping that he can dodge one, I don't really understand. Um, I, I mean, I can understand... He probably switched out because... Um, he, it said it was at 30, but maybe it was at 29. But I think he had to hope that he can dodge or lift another Hydro Pump with his Gyarados and try to set up. Because this Tabu Bulu took way too much from the Specs Pump here. Like, it's going to get to it, kid, anyways. Like, I don't want to say misplay, but like, if, if he drank Dances up on a miss, he could have won. Since, since, since Zambrock hit, it wouldn't have worked out. I mean, I can understand that he doesn't want to give him the Ash form, but like, by switching out into this, you don't really gain that much because the next, if he hits another Pumpy, he gets Ash anyway. So unless unless he go into Ladi and let the Ladi take a hit, so Zamrock doesn't want to take the miss, which is smart. He doesn't want to risk it. My narration is a bit all over the place here. Gotta apologize, not the best narration. Should have should have added someone to the call to calm down a bit. <laughs> I mean, I, I've gotten some, some turns where, like, them worked out into Greninja, where I completely agree with. I think I narrated those fine, but there's also some plays that just confused me a bit, like, where I wasn't sure what they were gonna do. He's just gonna HP Ice here, right? Yes, Sludge Wave, that's the tech. That's the tech for Tabu Bulu. I've that I've seen that a few times, but I didn't really expect him to run that. Uh, it makes some sense if you look at his team because he's kind of weak to Tapu Bulu, but I didn't actually expect him to pack it because you want to Majuna to switch in to stuff like Ladi into stuff like opposing Majuna, stuff like Greninja, and then Volt switch out. So your Majuna is gonna get weakened, which means it's gonna eventually get bopped by Tapu Bulu. So having a check secondary check for Bulu with Sludge Wave Intimidate Landris, it's actually really cool. So you give up U-turn to check stuff like Tapu Bulu. And he does, Malakis does miss a Draco, which sucks. Because uh, now Zamrock knows that he's locked into Draco and he can go into Majorna. Did he, what did he predict there? Did he predict a trick? I'm not really sure what he predicted. Either a trick or a Psyshock. So Malakis switches out into his Tabu Bulu, gets some grass during recovery. Samrock losing Ladi would have potentially been a huge... I think it, it's, it's not gonna be game changing, game changing, but like... That was like, if, Ger if Gyarados ever gets a Dragon Dance up... And he loses his Ladi, then Gyarados can put in the work. But Gyarados doesn't really DD up on much. Because um, after Rocks, it's probably in range from everything, so that's fine. So if you're Zamrock here, you don't want to let the Heatran come in for free. Um, so you probably go for Volt Switch, right? If you flash can enter the heat run, that's that can potentially lose you the game, so I think Volt Switch is the play. If he has Aura Sphere or Focus Blast, I guess you can go for that, but he's probably just gonna Volt. And if Malakis predicts the Volt Switch and stays in, that's but that's potentially huge. Malakis does predict the Volt Switch and gets it correct, wow. I think I think that Zamrock had to Volt Switch there, yeah, just because you don't want to give the trend a free switch. But yeah, this is in range from obviously Ice Beam, if it has Ice Beam, yeah, you already should Ice Beam. So he doesn't have to risk missing a pump. Because Dark Puts might be a roll. Yeah, Ice Beam is pretty much fine here. Um, unless, unless, Mal no, Malakis still has a heat run, yeah, I didn't think about that. So let me call Dark Puts real quick. Greninja. Oh, your choice bags, 103, special attack versus... Tapu Bulu, Dark Pulse does a uh, 30 to 36, so Dark Pulse doesn't kill, and he does make the prediction in Hydro Pumping. 
Um, I mean, it wasn't really a prediction because Hadoop would have killed Hadoop would have killed the top of Wulu anyways. But Amalek is banked on him going for Ice Beam. But like Zemrock. I don't is the correct play as long as it hits, but if it misses, it would have been bad for him. Like, if he missed, it would have been bad. But yeah, Malekith is forced to Draco here, because they run Draco and um, Psychic Step, and I think... Is either Trick and Healing Wish, or Defog and Healing Wish? Probably Defog and Healing Wish, right? I don't think he can run Fort to run Trick on this. So Malekith just hope, was hoping that Zemrock wasn't risking the miss and went for Ice Beam, which I can understand. But Hydro Pump was the correct play in the sense that it kills the blue and also kills the train and doesn't let anything come in. Um, Lali was the only thing that could have potentially came in on this. So Zamrock is probably gonna switch out and save this because this pretty much wins with clicking Dark Pulse now. He's gonna, um, okay, that's the healing wish. But he gets a solar boost expertly played, gets Gratitude and solar, and the solar boost. Um, Majuna is showing why it's pro. <laughs> Even it's not even not the setup set, just the vault, just the defensive set. So he's gonna volt switch out, and this way Malekith can't drag lands up twice. He can just drag lands up once, and Ladi still outspeeds it then. So Malekith's way of winning now is um, like Zamok is gonna volt switch you one hundred percent. It's gonna do like maybe sixty percent, and then he still has to hit a Draco. Um, unless Volt Switch puts this in range from a Dark Pulse from the Ash Greninja. How much does Volt Switch from a Volt Switch from a plus to Majuna do? Um, I'm just gonna cut no special attack investment because he seems to be like Spadef Majuna. Like really Spadef. Uh, whereas Gyarados, or Gyarados. Um, Volt Switch at plus one. There's 41 to 48 if he has no special attack investment. Okay, well. Yeah, I guess keeping the Gyarados is what Malekith wants. And now he has to dodge the Draco. Can he still can he still come back? Why is this game so close? Um, if Zemrock hits the Draco, it's probably gonna put it in range from Water Shuriken. Um, like Draco should do around 60 to a Gyarados. Latios, are you choice Scarf? 51 to 60. Draco does nothing. But yeah, even if he dragon lands here, Ladi still outspeeds, so Draco into Draco should put it in range from the water shrine. So just sec what the fuck is going on? Wait, what? Malachis just won the game. I have no idea what is going on. Uh, what the fuck? Um so I think let me explain to you guys what happened there, because I didn't narrate the ending properly. So he doubled out into Tabu Bulu, uh, into Greninja. Predicting Malek is to go to Bulu on the Draco, I think. I think that's what Zamrock did. Oh. Oh my lord, that's too much for me. I mean, there was not too much hacks in the game, right? There was a Hydro Pump crit, but then he dodged two Hydro Pumps with the Majuna, I don't think it mattered. I feel like a complete fool because I saw it. I saw Zemrock had that game locked up, or not locked up, but I saw Zemrock had that game won. But the score is 2 and 1 now for team. Uh, US East. Um, Malakis picks up the win for team Spain. So Zamrock probably had to bank on him going Tapu Tapu Bulu and get the double correct and then he could have clicked oh. I think he still had to click Hydro Pump because Dark Pulse probably does too little damage to this to this Gyarados if because Ma Malakis could then bring back his Gyarados and a Dark Pulse and eat it up. Because I can calc for you guys. Ah Greninja. He was in his Ash form. So it's one. Uh, why do I not just say the Ash Greninja? Ash Greninja versus Gyarados. The yeah, Hydro Pump is uh, 36 to 43. So if this switch is out on the top of Bulu and Zamrock gets the prediction correct, gets the Greninja in, um, then if Malekith sacks off the top of Bulu, he comes back in with this. 
He would be at around... What what health would he have been at with his... What health would he have been at? He would have been at 88%, okay. So he would have been at 88% and then he has to take rocks. So he's at 76. So that means Zamrock, as long as he hits his hydro pumps... Um, 76. It's a roll, it's a roll in Zamrock's favor. Because if he gets 2 minutes, it's 72, but like 76 is like probably it's in his favor because it's 36 to 43. So 2 Hydro Pumps are probably going to do 76. So as long as Zembrook hits all his Hydro Pumps, if he got the double correct, um, he would have won the game. Because um, Malakis had to drag Nance twice with Gyarados to outspeed the Ladios. And if, he, if Malakis only drag Nance... If Malakis um, takes 1 Hydro Pump, then he's in range from a Draco Meteor. That's what I'm trying to explain to you. So I can, I think I understand it, stood it now. Cause I, I yeah, I would have been in range if Zembrook hits the hydro pump. Would have been in range from the Draco from the Ladi. So that the others had to drag Nance twice to beat the Ladi. If uh, Zembrook got that play correct, the Malakis went into Bulu. Zembrook just had to hit every pump and... He either had to hit every pump or he had to... Um, if Malakis just killed his good ninja without Dragon the up, then he would have been around... Um, I don't know, but he would have been in range from Draco, so then he would have still had, have to hit a Draco Meteor. So I hope I somewhat explained this to you guys at the ending. Um, I'm, I messed up a bit in this recording, my bad guys. Um, yeah. Thank you for watching. I kind of want to reiterate this because I fucked up a bit, but I hope it's fine. Um, I mean, it happens, like... Uh, Everybody makes mistakes, like I'm human. I know that, like... I think some of my narrations are really good, but sometimes I just mess up. And yeah, Zamrock is 0-2 at the Mono World Cup. The, his first game he got hacked. This one was uh, really close. So the, the healing wish for came, just in, came in clutch for Malakis. I just remember talking about earlier where I said they both had like similar teams. But yeah, the healing wish from Ladias over Ladios, which and uh, Mega Gyarados having really nice bulk, eating up the Drago like it's nothing. Amalink is coming through for Team Spain. Malakis is one and one now. I think he lost. He only played one game so far before this, which is uh, which was in the tiebreak tiebreak between uh, Spain and Italy where he lost. Uh, not in the tiebreak. Was the game where Italy was up? Italy was in the back four and five, and then Italy won versus. Malakith and was 5 and 5 and went to tiebreak and then Spain won in the tiebreak 2 and 0. Oh. But thank you guys for watching. I'll be back. I don't know if there's more games today. I think there might be like a older gen, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna record that. But yeah, I'll see you later. Hope you have a fantastic day and I'm out.